In this video, we'll be walking through how to use Aurea's SonarWorks integration, from the initial measurement through to using those measurement results to create a custom profile that can be stored in Aurea and instantly recalled with a single button press. Every Aurea unit has a SonarWorks Sound ID reference microphone and a 60 day trial of the Sound ID reference for multi channel software included in the box. It is worth noting profiles created with the Sound ID reference for multi channel trial will expire and no longer work after the 60 day trial period has elapsed. In order to continue using those profiles, you will need to purchase a full license of the Sound ID reference for multi channel software from Sonarworks. In this video, we're going to go through the calibration process in three steps. Firstly, preparation, getting Aurea working and set correctly. Secondly, the measurement process using the Sound ID reference measure app. And thirdly, creating and loading a calibration profile into Aurea using the Sound ID reference app. Before we start, it is important to mention that the calibration capabilities provided by Aurea should not replace proper room acoustic treatment and proper speaker positioning. We highly recommend making every effort to address any acoustic issues with your room before using our calibration features. Before we load up the Sound ID reference measurement software called the Measure app, there are a couple of things we need to prepare. Firstly, make sure all of your speakers are connected to the correct outputs and match the naming convention on the rear panel of Aurea. If, for example, the left height speaker is connected to the output for the rear surround channel, the calibration process will be confused and give a substandard result. The outputs on the rear panel of Aurea are labeled to match the standard as defined in the Aurea software app. And these also match the Dolby renderer's standard output definitions. If using the AES outputs, make sure these are manually assigned to the correct speakers using the Aurea software app before starting measurement as the channel routing will be sent to the measure app. Next, make sure your speakers are emitting sound at the same volume level. If one or more of your speakers are very loud or very quiet compared to the others, we recommend using your active speakers or amplifiers volume controls to make sure levels match. Dolby recommends setting your subwoofer to be 10 decibels higher than the channel volume to give increased headroom for the LFE audio. This is defined in both the Aurea software app settings and the measure app. So make sure that those are matched. If these are not aligned, the measure app will let you know at the measurement stage. Once this preparation is complete, it's time to fire up the Sound ID reference measure app. Make sure the measurement microphone is plugged in on a sturdy microphone stand and phantom power is engaged. If using Aurea as a USB audio interface, we recommend using input one on the front panel of Aurea. If using Aurea as a standalone monitor controller, make sure the Sound ID reference measurement microphone is connected to the system via a microphone preamp with as little coloration as possible. The measure app will now walk you through the next part of the process, where the microphone is used to determine calibration parameters for each speaker. You will be guided through this process via the instructions on screen. This measurement process will take 40 to 60 minutes, depending on the number of channels. Let's take a look at this process with Yujis Campos from Sonarworks. Let me take you through the measurement process. Once you have finished installing the software and the license key has been activated, open up the Sound ID reference measure app. I will refer to this as simply the measure app. The first step is to select the speaker configuration. We will be measuring a 9.1.4 setup today. Make sure to carefully follow the on-screen checklist. On the next page, the Sound ID Measure app will prompt you to select your interface type. Here, we select Audience Aurea and press Next. The Aurea desktop app will prompt you to enter measurement mode. Click OK to confirm this. This has caused Aurea to go into a dedicated measurement mode, where channel EQ, level trim and individual delays are disabled in preparation for the measurement process. Go back to the Sound ID measure app and press next. The next step requires you to select the microphone input channel. 
make sure input channel signal is detected. Although third-party microphones can be used for the measurements, we highly recommend using the Sound ID reference measurement microphone. Each and every microphone has been individually measured before. You will find a unique code on the back of the mic. Insert this code into the empty field here. This will upload the frequency response profile of this particular mic in three different angles. Having frequency response profiles in different angles is very important due to the nature of measuring an immersive audio setup. This information is normally not available. If you are planning to mix for Dolby, choose the plus 10 dB LFE setting. If not, choose the same level as the other channels. The output channels should be assigned automatically, but make sure that everything is correct by playing a sound on each of the channels. Make sure that you follow the video instructions on the app. Most importantly, clear out anything that you could bump into and prepare the microphone as indicated in the tutorial. Once ready, adjust the input gain of the microphone until you reach the required level. As the next step, you must select between the metric or the imperial system. We will proceed with the metric system. During the next procedure, the measure app gathers important information about the setup. Hold the microphone one to two centimeters away from the mid-range driver and stand to the side. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. The software will calculate the distance between the front speakers. You can review the results and adjust accordingly if necessary. The next step is to position the microphone in the listening spot. The general recommendation is to aim for your stereo listening position to be in a perfect triangle. Once again, you can review the results and adjust accordingly. In the next section, the software will detect whether all of the playback audio from your speakers is at a good level to perform frequency response measurements. If any of the channels do not fall within a plus minus 3 dB range compared to the target channel, a volume mismatch will be detected displaying the differences. You can choose to either manually adjust the output levels on the speakers according to the measurement results, or skip the speaker volume adjustment and let the software correct the output level inconsistencies later. The second to last step will determine the speaker delays. Once again, make sure to step out of the speaker area. We are now done with the preparations. The last step of the measurement process will take you through 37 measurement points around the room. You will have to pick up the microphone and move around the room based on where the software tells you to place the mic. Once placed correctly, step out of the speaker area and repeat the process as instructed. Once you have your measurements, you can see the resulting frequency curve in the measure app, alongside the recorded level differences and delays. Save this as a measurement file by pressing the save and finish button. Name this as something clear you can refer back to later. Now we can close the Sound ID measure app and the next steps will be completed in the Sound ID reference app, which we will open now. This is where we will create our custom calibration profile ready to export to Aurea. Click on Add New Output and select Audience Aurea. Click on the Select Your Profile drop down at the top of the app. If your measurements have been loaded previously, you will see them here in the Recent Calibration Profiles list. However, since this is the first time using a new set of measurements, press open an existing profile, then select your measurements file as named previously and press open. You can now see the first two channels of the measurement file inside the Sound ID reference app. However, all the channels have been loaded for the purposes of exporting the measurements to the Aurea desktop app. 
before exporting the measurements to the Aurea desktop app. This is where the tonal balance can be adjusted. By default, an imported set of measurements is corrected to be tonally flat, but there are also options to change to a Dolby Atmos music curve, a custom target with EQ bands, or a translation check mode that simulates less ideal listening environments. It is also possible to adjust the amount of correction with the dry wet control to vary the percentage of EQ change compared to the original signal. Adjust your tonal balance as necessary. Once you have set the desired parameters for your target profile, at the bottom left of the Sound ID Reference app window, select Export Preset to Device and select Audience Aurea from the menu. Then select Direct Transfer to Audience Aurea application and press Next. At this point, a message will appear in the Aurea desktop app with the option to either use the imported data to create a new profile or to overwrite an existing profile. In this case, make a new profile and rename it to your specifications. If the profile list is full, the Aurea desktop app will prompt you on screen. Alternatively, you can replace a pre-existing profile with the new data imported from the Sound ID reference app by selecting the overwrite existing profile option. This will open a dialog box to choose a pre-existing profile to overwrite. Next, we need to set up our bass management if necessary. Bass management is used to take the low end signals from individual speakers and redirect them to the subwoofer. This is especially useful if your speakers are small and not capable of reproducing these low frequencies. The exact settings for this are dependent on recommendations from your speaker manufacturer. Much larger full range speakers may require no bass management at all, or a low cutoff such as 40 Hz, while smaller speakers such as compact height speakers may require a much higher cutoff frequency. This covers the Sound ID calibration features in Aurea. We hope this helps you get the most out of your immersive experience. You can find more information on our YouTube channel covering the software and general setup to get you started. Thanks for watching and have fun mixing immersive.